Hi everyone, my name is Raymond, and in this video we're going to be talking about metolazone, also known as zeroxalin. First, let's go over counseling points for our patients. Metolazone is used to treat high blood pressure or to get rid of extra fluid. It's taken once daily with or without food. You want to take this medication early in the day to avoid frequent nighttime urinations. Take missed doses as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the timing of your next dose, skip that missed dose and take the medication at your normal time. Do not take two doses at the same time. Side effects include upset stomach, diarrhea or constipation, dizziness, drowsiness or tiredness, headache or joint pain. Report to your doctor right away if you experience more severe side effects, which include signs of allergic reaction, muscle pain or weakness, irregular heartbeats, the inability to pass urine, or any large weight gains or swelling. Metolazone belongs to the class of thiazide type diuretics and is indicated for the treatment of edema that's seen in renal disease or in heart failure as an adjunctive agent. It may also be used for the treatment of hypertension. In heart failure, it's used as an adjunct to loop diuretics when loop diuretics are inadequate for relieving fluid overload. Although the FDA has approved this medication for hypertension, other thiazide diuretics are preferred, such as chlorthalidone or hydrochlorothiazide. What's unique to metolazone is that unlike other thiazide diuretics, it may work in patients with a reduced renal function of a creatinine clearance below 30 milliliters per minute. Its mechanism of action is that it inhibits the sodium and chloride symporter in the distal convoluted tubules in the kidney. This causes an increase in sodium and chloride excretion, which thereby increases water excretion. Due to the excess water coming out, this will decrease cardiac output and lower the blood pressure. Metolazone is available in 2.5 mg, 5 mg, and 10 mg tablets. When used to treat edema related to heart failure, initial dosing begins at 2.5 mg once daily and may be increased to a maximum daily dose of 20 mg. When used for edema related to renal disease, recommended dosing is 5 to 20 mg once daily. When used for treatment of hypertension, recommended dosing is much lower and is between 2.5 and 5 mg once daily. There were no renal or hepatic dose adjustments provided in the manufacturer's labeling. However, use caution in patients with severe renal or hepatic impairment. Do not interchange zeroxalin with other metolazone formulations that are not therapeutically equivalent, such as Microx, which is no longer available. Contraindications include hypersensitivity to metolazone or any component used in formulation of it, anuria, or hepatic coma or pre-coma. Cross allergies may occur in patients who are allergic to other sulfonamides or sulfa drugs. Severe hypokalemia and or hyponatremia can occur rapidly following initial doses. And be careful for patients as they may experience orthostatic hypotension when on the medication. Adverse drug effects include hypotension, volume depletion, Electrolyte disturbances, including hypokalemia, hyponatremia, and hypomagnesemia, and hypercalcemia, hyperuricemia, hyperglycemia, and photosensitivity as well. For patients on metolazone, it is important to monitor fluid status and weight to ensure appropriate fluid loss and verify that extra fluid is not being retained. You want to monitor blood pressure due to loss of excess fluids. You want to keep track of electrolytes as it may cause electrolyte disturbances. You want to monitor renal function for safety. And lastly, we want to look at blood glucose, especially those diabetic patients, as blood sugars may rise. 